Well, good evening, YouTube. It's evening where I am. I'm not sure where, what time of day it is at the, when you're watching this, but good day to you. Brother Briar joining you from, uh, from the garage here this evening um, after a long week of traveling. So talk about that here in a minute. But I'll be doing a, kind of a first impressions, at least trying a new tobacco this evening. Uh, picked this up on my trip. So I spent a couple days in Boston and a couple days in San Diego. So the first stop um, was Boston. So I, I made a, a trip over to LJ Peretti, visited with those guys, and picked up a few tobaccos. So what I'll be trying for the first time tonight here is the LJ Peretti British blend. This is a full-bodied English that, uh, yeah, smells fantastic. Very, uh, I'd say, quintessential English blend. Um, just from what, you know, what you would expect from the components. But I'll read a description here that Peretti has. So it says, one of our more full-bodied blends similar to many expensive English blends. This blend is so carefully constructed that its Perique and Latakia components and Latakia components complement each other perfectly. Peretti's British is, uh, was blended first in 1922. This tobacco is the first commercially produced English mixture in the United States. So there's a fun fact. Did not, did not realize that. But uh, yeah, its contents or components are Latakia, Oriental slash Turkish, Perique, and Virginia. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like here. So you can see it's ribbon cut. Very attractive looking, looking tobacco. You can see the various components from the dark Latakias to some of the lighter uh, Orientals and Virginias, as well as Perique in there. But what you would expect to see uh, for the most part from an English blend. So let's, uh, let's give it a little smell here Out of the jar. So this is First thing I'm sensing obviously is that Latakia that smoky Latakia There is a little bit of a sweetness from the Virginia I'm not picking up a whole lot of Perique. I don't know what the ratio is. I'd be interested in knowing kind of what's, I would assume it's the order in which it was read. So what did I say? So Latakia, Oriental, Perique, and Virginia. So I don't know if that's the, you know, from the weight or from the proportions of each component, if that's in order. But obviously Latakia, that's the first thing I'm noticing. Second thing it's mentioning here, the Oriental and Turkish. Uh, I'm not sure I'm picking up on that quite as much as I am the Virginia, though. And I'm not detecting much of the Perique. So, anyway, definitely noticing the, the Latakia and the Virginia in this. So, smells very nice. I'm going to go ahead and load up a bowl here so give me a second here while I fiddle with this try to it's been a while since I've uh, since I've done a video I've still been enjoying my pipes and tobaccos but just haven't been honestly just haven't been very motivated to do a video I don't don't know really why but I think I just enjoyed relaxing um, and enjoying enjoying the pipe what's what's what it's really meant to be uh, used for right so and we're working on this bowl here it's packing quite nicely the moisture content is I would say you know it's not not overly dry not overly moist it's really perfect right out of the you know, right out of the shop. Now they they had this in a in a jar, 
in their shop. So I think he just pulled some straight out of the jar and bagged it up for me. So this was a bulk blend, um, not tinned. So the moisture content is really perfect right now for loading. I'm hoping that it will light nicely as well. We'll find out here in a minute. But anyway, I think that ought to do it. I'm going to be smoking this out of my Savinelli uh, Bing's favorite. So really enjoy this pipe. It's a great smoker. It's a cool smoke. You can see from the longer stem. And uh, yeah, really, really enjoy this pipe. So let's go ahead and put the lid back on that. And we'll fire this up. See what it see what it uh, smokes like. Okay, so I got the charring light going there. I'll have to go go back and do the true light here. Let's see. Let's see if it'll take to it. very nice so kind of struggled to get it lit there for a second I think once I got that char finally uh, the charring light done I think it took a little easier there that could have been my my Zippo though as well I've noticed let's try some matches here see if it makes any difference Okay, so I've been focused on trying to light it here. Now let, let me see if I can <laughs> pick up on the tobaccos that we just talked about. So definitely sense the Latakia. I'd say it's a very Latakia forward blend. I think the next thing I'm really noticing is the Perique. It's got a, the spiciness that 
I'm sensing a lot more in the retro hail. I, yeah, I can sense its presence more in the retro hail. I've noticed English blends that don't have much or any perique. It's a very creamy, smooth smoke. So much so that you can't even feel, you know, any sense of tingliness or whatever in the retro hail. Now I'm definitely sensing that with this one. The Virginia is very subtle, almost in the background. It's almost uh, on the back end. It's almost like a, a tail end of sweetness. And I've really been puffing on this pretty hard, so I think I've struggled to get it to get it going. I'm not sure what that's all about. But I'm wondering if that's messing with some of the dynamic of this too. I haven't really picked up on the Oriental a whole lot. little bit. I can sense kind of a floral. I don't know how to describe it exactly, but floral is what's coming to mind. Very subtle. I think it's being dominated by the Perique though. And I have to use that retro hail to help me pick out all of the different components in it. And that retro hail is being <laughs> well, the, the um, dynamics of it are being overpowered, I would say, by the perique a little bit. Not in a bad way, but as I'm trying to kind of study it. <laughs> it's a little tricky. Hmm. Still a very good, very good tobacco. Definitely full bodied. I would say it's a good nighttime blend. Yeah. And every every so often I'm getting little bursts of sweetness, so I think as it's kind of burning down through the bowl, it's I'm picking up on some of those other components like the Virginia Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, that's very good. Take it. Give the pipe a break here a minute. Get a sip of tea. 
I enjoy tea uh, with pipes. I love coffee, um, but there's something about the acidity of coffee that when I'm smoking a pipe, it distorts the flavor of the coffee. I think the acidity, there's something there where as tea is not as acidic, so it, it, it you know, it, the flavor of the tea isn't distorted from the tobacco. I don't know if I'm making sense there, but I've just discovered that when I'm smoking a pipe, I enjoy tea more than I do coffee. It's probably better for me at this time of day anyway. It's, I'll be going to bed after this pipe, so. <laughs> But yes, so this is a very good. I have to keep this in the rotation with some of my other English blends, of which I've, I've picked up several new tobaccos over the last couple, two or three months. I won't rattle off all of the ones that I've picked up, but you, I'm sure, know of all of the blends that I would, would have mentioned. Picked up a lot of tins. Been interested in kind of aging some of those tobaccos, cellaring them away. Well, I guess cellaring... Excuse me, I say that loosely. <laughs> They're in my basement <laughs> in a designated spot. <laughs> Guess that's cellaring, right? Cellaring is more a a practice of aging your your tobaccos more than anything. But Yeah, so it was a long week. I left on a Sunday morning, and then Sunday Sunday evening I got into Boston. Uh, I didn't drive, I flew, but just with connecting flights and whatnot. Got in that afternoon and went, went over to Peretti's before uh, the busyness of the work week began so um, so yeah spent a few days in Boston two days I think and then made my way over to San Diego for another uh, work location another facility and also got to spend some time with my brother-in-law who lives out near San Diego as well so stopped in and had dinner with him and his family, so that was good. But, uh, excuse me, a lot of air miles. <laughs> so, a lot of, a lot of time sitting in a, in a plane, a lot of hours sitting in a plane, so, kind of amazing how you can do nothing for, you know, eight, nine hours, but be worn out from it. <laughs> So, but it was a really good trip. I'm just glad to be home and kind of ending the week with a nice relaxing pipe here. So, well, if you've hung, hung in there with me for the better part of 20 minutes, appreciate you hanging in there. Um, I'm going to sit back, enjoy the rest of this pipe, and hopefully call it a night. So, hope you all are doing well and uh, enjoying your pipes, enjoying your tobaccos, and uh, yeah, enjoying life. So, God bless you all. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.